Hello everybody and welcome to our Friday Celebration Worship Assembly. It's Friday the 12th of March today and the candle is lit because we know that Jesus is the light of the world and God is all around us. Now slightly different today because you are watching this assembly from your classroom because we are all back at school this week. Now I know that the teachers and from what I've heard from all of the pupils and parents we're all really pleased to be back together as our Gillsborough family. Now I'm going to share with you just a few pictures to see all of the things that you've been doing this week in your classrooms. <laughs> Okay, now we're back. We are going to start with our value certificates. The teachers have all been together and all talking about who they're going to give their value certificates to. So I'm going to start with reception and year one. So, Mrs. Price, Mrs. Shields and Mrs. Cox have decided to give their value certificate this week to Ryan. Well done, Ryan. Ryan has got his value certificate for enthusiasm. Now, they're so, so proud of you, Ryan, because they've said that you have done extremely well with your phonics work and you have got a new set of reading books to take home. Well done, Ryan. Super work. Okay. Year two. Mrs Wood and Miss Llewellyn have decided to give their value certificate for the value of quality. And it goes to Imogen. Well done, Imogen. Now, both Miss Llewellyn and Miss Wood said the work that you did over the January lockdown was wonderful. They were so proud of everything that you put out. Such quality. So, well done, Imogen. Okay, class three, four. Now, Mrs. Holcomb has given her certificate to Ted. Well done, Ted. Now, Mrs. Holcomb says, Ted, that your enthusiasm, that's the value, has been brilliant on returning to school. She says you've made a fantastic start and she's very, very, very proud of you. We all are. Good boy. Okay, year five. Now, Mr. Fletcher has given his value certificate for responsibility and he's given it to Edward. 
Well done, Edward. Now, Mr. Fletcher has said it's for contributing really, really well in all class discussions. Well done, Edward. Brilliant, brilliant working. And now we have year six. Now, Mrs. Mills has decided to give her value certificate to Harry C. And it was it was for conscientiousness. Whew, that was a big word to say on a Friday morning. Well done, Harry. She says that the work that you have been doing over the lockdown and that you have put on the platform has been brilliant. She said you really worked hard and she's very, very impressed. So well done. Well done to all of those children. Can we give them all a huge round of applause? <laughs> Well done, children. Brilliant values shown. Okay, now we're going to go to our Bible story from the New Testament, and it's called The Big Picnic. The Big Picnic. It was getting late. A big crowd of people had listened to Jesus all day. Now everyone was tired and hungry. There's nothing here for them to eat said Jesus' special friends. They were out in the hills in a lonely place. They must go to the farms and villages and buy something there. You give them something to eat, Jesus said. Oh, we couldn't buy food for all these people. It would cost far too much, Philip said. There were more than 5,000 people. Ask if they have any bread, said Jesus. So Jesus' special friends went all around the great big crowd. Have, have you got any bread? Have you got any bread? But they all shook their heads, except for one small boy. He had five bread rolls and two small fish to eat for his dinner. Andrew took him to Jesus. Here's a boy who has five bread rolls and two small fish, but they won't go far among all these people. The little boy was very hungry. He looked down at his dinner. Then he looked up at Jesus. Without a word, he held out his five bread rolls and two small fish for Jesus to take. Jesus smiled at him and the little boy felt so happy. He had done the right thing. Jesus always said thank you to God for his food. So now he thanked God for the little boy's dinner. After that, he shared it with all the people. First the bread, and then the fish. The little boy couldn't believe his eyes. Every one of those people got a share. Not just a crumb, but plenty of dinner for them all. Not just enough, but lots left over. Jesus' special friends filled 12 baskets with leftovers. Everyone needs bread to eat, Jesus said. But you need me even more. It's a very important time of our assembly now, which we haven't had because of lockdown, but now we're back. I'm going to hand over to our head boy and head girl to give us the news round for this month. Welcome back to school everyone. I hope you're having a good time so far. It's great to see all our friends and teachers again. Mayo, our school photographer has been rebooked for Thursday the 25th of March. All photo sessions will take place in a Covid secure manner and within class bubbles. Please note that siblings slash class photos will not take place until later in the year. We are all delighted that the bike shelter is finally here. A big thank you to Mr Nick and everyone else who got involved. Children and staff are using it already. Red Nose Day 2021. Red Nose Day will take place on Friday the 19th of March. If you want, you can come in your own clothes for a donation of £1. Thank you for watching and now over to Mrs Shilliam. Thank you both for that. Lots of exciting news that's been happening all throughout the lockdown period. 
Now it is time for our reflection. And I'm going to hand over to Katie, who is going to say our prayer. And it's looking at thanking our diocese and all of our teachers for their hard, hard work and supporting our school. Our Father, we thank you for the many people in our diocese who work hard to support church schools. Give them wisdom as they offer guidance to head teachers and teachers, perseverance in pursuing the well-being of all pupils, and courage in speaking out for Christian values in education. In the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, Amen. We're now at the end of our assembly and your first week back at school. Now I know that it's been very tiring, but we are so pleased to have you all back together. So I'm going to end the assembly with Reverend Nat, who is going to do her song. And I know there's lots of actions that you can join in with. So I am going to say the Lord be with you. Have a wonderful, safe weekend and we look forward to seeing you all next Monday. God bless everybody. See you all soon. So we need to find some space. So now you're back in school, um, you won't be able to uh, sing the words, so no singing. But do join in with the actions and some funky moves as we do the song together, every move I make. So let's join in with the song now. So every move I make, and at the beginning of the song, there's a little bit of free dancing going on, a bit of air guitar, a little bit of wiggling and jiggling. So you just do your own thing at the beginning and then follow me for the actions. that.